Hello students, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about the program status word, which is also known as an PSW register in 8051 microcontroller. It is a special function register in 8051 and understanding it is essential for efficient coding. The PSW register is an 8-bit register which stores the status of arithmetic and logic operations it has seven flags, which is denoted by 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 as shown in the figure, each of which provides important information about the result of an operation, whatever may be the previous operation which is done by the 8051. This PSW register is a bit addressable register, means each bit can be accessed individually, that is PSW.0. PSW.1, PSW.2, like this we can access each bit from the PSW register. What is the meaning of it? It means that we can make each bit set or reset by using separate instructions in the program. There are very simple instructions to make the particular bit set or reset. For that, we are having two instructions that is clear and set bit. If we consider the first instruction that is clear PSW3, after execution of this instruction, the content of that PSW.3 means this is the third bit which becomes 0. If we consider the next example that is set bit PSW4 means it is going to make the content of that particular bit, fourth bit 1. Like this we can access the bit separately. Now we are going to discuss the bit's name, its symbol and function of each bit. The MSB bit is the 7th bit which is a carry flag and denoted by CY which is used in arithmetic operation, jump operation, rotate operation and boolean operation which we will discuss in details when we discuss the instruction set. The carry flag indicates whether the previous operation results in a carry from the D7th bit. Let us discuss here how the carry flags get affected. Consider here this addition operation. If we perform the addition, this will be the result. In this, there is no carry generated from D7th bit, so the carry flag content will be zero. Let us consider another example. If we perform the addition of this, this will be the result. In this, there is a carry generated from D7th bit. So the content of the carry flag will be 1. The next bit is 6th bit, which is an auxiliary carry flag, denoted by AC, which is used for BCD arithmetic operations. Auxiliary carry flag indicates whether the previous operation result in a carry from the D3rd bit to the D4th bit. Let us discuss with some example how carry flags get affected. Consider this addition operation. If we perform this addition, this will be the result. In this, there is no carry generated from the D3rd bit to D4th bit and so the auxiliary carry flag will be zero. Let us consider another example. If we perform the addition of these two numbers, then this will be the result. In this, there is a carry generated from D3rd bit to D4th bit. Means, there is a carry from lower nibble to higher nibble. Now, in this case, the auxiliary carry flag will be 1. Next, the 5th bit is the user flag. We can use this flag to store the single bit information. Next bits are the 4th bit and the 3rd bit, which are RS1 and RS0 which indicates register bank selection bit 1 and 2. They are used for the selection of bank. As we know there are total 4 banks in the RAM of 8051 microcontroller that is bank 0, bank 1, bank 2 and bank 3. For the selection of these banks user can use RS1 and RS0 bits. If these two bits are 0, 0, then the bank 0 gets selected. If these two bits are, which is RS1 and RS0 is 0, 1, the bank 1 gets selected. If these two bits are 
RS1 is equal to 1 and RS0 is equal to 0, bank 2 gets selected. And if these two bits are 1, 1, then the bank 3 gets selected. Next is the second bit from the PSW register, which is an overflow flag and which is used in the sign number addition. Where we use this? If suppose we perform the addition of two positive numbers and got a negative number and the result is negative number we are getting or if we perform the addition of two negative numbers and we got the positive result then overflow flag help in that particular operation. For the understanding of this let us consider the example of addition. These two numbers are negative numbers as the MSB bit of these two numbers indicate is 1 and as MSB bit is 1 means these two numbers are negative and if you perform the addition of these two MSB bit becomes 0 as MSB bit is 0 it means the result of operation is positive and this is the uh, this is the problem and to identify that problem we are using overflow flag for the clear understanding we consider the bit number 6 and bit number 7 we made here the XOR of these two carriages, which is shown in this particular figure. Means the carry generated from D7 bit and carry generated from D6 bit. And what will be the condition of the overflow flag which is shown in this particular table. It states that if carry is not generated from D7 bit and carry is also not generated from D6 bit, overflow flag is 0. If the carry is not generated from D7 bit, and carry is generated from D6 bit, overflow flag will be 1. And if we got the carry from D7 bit and there is no carry from D6 bit, overflow flag will be 1. And if we, we got the carry generated from D6 bit and the D7 bit, overflow flag will be 0. Next bit is the first bit which is reserved for future use. And the last bit is parity flag which is the 0th bit. This parity flag indicates how many number of ones are there in accumulator which is also known as an A register. If odd numbers are there in accumulator, parity flag will be 1. And if even number of ones or zero number of ones are per present in the accumulator, then the parity flag is 0. For the understanding of this, let us consider here one example. Now, we, suppose we perform the addition of these two numbers and we got this result. This result which is indicated here, it is present in an accumulator. How many number of ones are there? It is 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, 5 number of ones are there in the accumulator. So, parity flag will be 1. Let us consider another example. If you perform this addition, we got this result and this result which is get stored in the accumulator. Now let us count the number of ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Total 6 number of ones are present in the accumulator. So my parity flag will be 0. Finally we can conclude that there are total 4 math flags and 3 user control flags. User control flag which are normally used for the selection of the bank. And a fifth bit is used for, for the storing purpose. Four math flags are there in which if the carry generated from D7 bit, my carry, my carry flag will get set, otherwise it is clear. Auxiliary carry, it is get set when there is a carry from D7 bit to D4 bit or from lower nibble to higher nibble. Overflow flag, it is actually the result of XOR between the carry generated from D6 bit and a D7 bit. And parity flag indicates if the even number of ones are there, my parity flag is 0 and odd number of ones, parity flag is 1. This is all about the program status word. For the reference, I have used a book of 8051, author Kenneth Ayla. In next lecture, we will discuss about the input and output ports of 8051 microcontroller. Thank you. See you in the next video.